and welcome to another episode of Hot Comics Podcast. I'm Lysandra Vasquez, and today I have a special guest co-host, Eric, Eric Tillman. Eric Tillman, one of our, also one of our other comic hotties named by the one and only Mandel. Gotta love I mean, Mandel. We gotta love Mandel. He's the best. I'm so happy to be here. I'm it's happy a, to have you here. It's an honor to be here. I've been, I've been, I've been dreaming of this moment to sit on this couch. Honestly, I've told you before. You're welcome that we're giving you. I mean, you need to watch this one if you're listening. I'd switch over to video just to get a, just to get a look at Eric. I try. Whole I'm, outfit. I do it to keep up with, with her. I do it to keep up no, with you. No, no. Today's not a great example of this, but you know what? We're. <laughs> Eric is an Atlanta-based comedian, and Eric is really, really funny. Uh, and also, you you produce slash host I do, a I do. one weekly show here um, that's called the 1 a.m. Secret Show. An Atlanta Always a staple. secret lineup. An Atlanta staple at Smith's. Smith's Old Bar, yeah, it's been going on. And that is at 1 a.m. 1 a.m. every Saturday night, Sunday morning. Very late. Very uh, late. Do nap before you come. Do uh, not before you come. If you ever, if you're a comic and you do the show, uh, it is. It's, it's, a, a, it's a commitment. Yeah. It's a commitment to it do that every single it is, week. It is. It is. It is. It's a lot of um, moving of chairs. <laughs> staying up late. <laughs> yeah, it's, a but, lot uh, of, it's a lot of doing that. And then also you have a, a twice a month show at a church. Church on Edgewood. Yeah. It's called the Holy Shed Church Show. Holy Shed church show that i run with our guest today ian Aber. ian Aber, the fabulous ian Aber. ian is a staple of the atlanta comedy he's one of the the most uh i was say decorated producers decorated. in the land and he's also been doing uh he's been a comedian for about 10 years yeah. he's super funny he's traveled all over uh doing festivals and you can see him perform all over the city and all over the country ian a bear is a delight you're gonna enjoy him uh and we'll see you on the other side ian thank you so much for being here thank you so much for having me with my wonderful guest co-host brandy younger <laughs> brandy looks different right? a little different <laughs> just a little different today just, just you look great though bit. thank you thank you uh but you brought us a hot topic today i did mm -hmm. um ozempic i've been i love just fascinated with mm -hmm. it well i was trying to find some it's like i'm in a <laughs> i'm in a weight loss competition yeah. with a couple other comp well six six of us total yeah um that we've been doing for like first 60 days whoever loses the most weight percentage wise wins everybody puts in a hundred bucks everybody you know what i mean yeah and uh, so I thought, oh, I'll get on Ozempic. That'll be great. <laughs> or we'll go V. It's a supplement? It's a shot. It's yeah. a weekly oh, shot. A weekly shot. Okay. Yeah. People like uh, diabetics need it to live, but it also makes you skinny. Okay. So One of you the can't, side effects is skinny. So you can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Um, and if you can find it, it's $600 a shot. Okay. And weekly. Oh, wow. You have to have a weekly. Yeah, so I didn't get it. And it also has some crazy side effects. Oh, well, yeah. The, the Being skinny, being the craziest <laughs> side effect and, of like, all. And like diarrhea and potential like. But who doesn't have diarrhea all the time? You know what I mean? <laughs> so like over the counter flat tummy tea basically like a so, well no it actually like works flat, I mean, like, so you know how like injection. sometimes everyone's like oh the hot new whatever yeah, no but yeah. it works because like this like there's a thing called ozempic face mm -hmm. and like people like elon musk you know you know how he looks all messed up now does, that's yeah, why because yeah, yeah. he has ozempic face allegedly and oh, allegedly yeah. allegedly you're right exactly exactly <laughs> um uh, uh chloe kardashian uh chelsea handler there's oh. a bunch of them there's like if you go uh do celebrity ozempic face and search like I do in the morning to get myself out of bed. <laughs> Every day. You get these skinny ass face motherfuckers. It's just amazing. I heard Chelsea didn't know that she was taking Ozempic. Well, I mm. mean, if you look at, like, if you ever watch the show where they eat the multi course meal of weed, and yeah. I believe that she doesn't know what she's putting in her body from that's time. True. You know what that's I mean? Like, that's that's true. what baseball players say when they're hitting on home runs. And it's like, I didn't, it was, I went to the doctor. I didn't know. <laughs> like, Sammy Sosa. Was HGH like, yeah. In there. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. You just thought it was vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They were just giving me what... I don't know, I don't know if I believe that. Vit <laughs> vitamin HGH, yeah. Well, but I can't spend $600 a week on Ozempic. Mm. I'm already spending that on regular drugs. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like party drugs. I can't. Like, it's going to cut into the... So yeah, it ended up not being a... I, I looked for it. And apparently, I guess you can go to... You know, the thing is to go to Mexico and okay. buy a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, but then is it really Ozempic or is it just whatever? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was reading a bug article about somebody trying to bring back like 100 of them. And then they had one tested and it was like... I don't even know placebo, sugar water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah, 
Yeah, it was uh, just like, instead of Ozempic, it was like, Esplenda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like, just some fabuloso. It's sugar, It's yeah. just a little fabuloso. Well, they did recall the fabuloso recently. Oh, so, oh no. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. So, what's I my, don't know. What's my mom cleaning our house with? <laughs> There's no <laughs> fabuloso. Yeah, okay. So you didn't end up going with No, me, I went, well, we've been doing it for 60 days. So I started with... Um, I was like, I'll go vegan. You know what I mean? <laughs> that made perfect sense. And uh, and I did. We did pretty good on being vegan. And I'm competing, but I'm my husband, I cook, so he, whatever I eat, he eats. Yeah. So he's on a diet now, too. He didn't even know. Um, <laughs> and then so I tried vegan for almost a month. And I lost some weight, but it like pla- I plateaued, and I was hungry all, all the, time. the time. So I switched to keto. I just went from one end of the spectrum to the other. <laughs> and uh, keto, it's been pretty good, and I'm I can feel the weight loss. And like Great. keto, they say it makes your brain clearer, and it definitely yeah. Because yeah. once you reach ketosis, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. doing the test strips? Yeah, oh yeah. I only Ooh. pee on test strips. It's the only thing I pee <laughs> on now. It's very validating. Like it's the only diet where it's like now my reward system is. Like, I don't weigh myself every day, but every day that the thing turns pink that I pee on, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm part of Christ's army, meh, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like so purposeful, you know? I love that. Yeah. It sounds like a lot of urine to keep up with. Though. I mean, <laughs> I, I only, I don't, I mean, I pee just regularly in the toilet of too. Course, but, yeah. but every time I pee, I'm like, I bought 100 strips and I'm going to go through them yeah, in like two well, weeks. When because I every pee. time I pee, I'm like, pink, I'm still in ketosis. <laughs> I'm in ketosis, mom. I'm texting her. <laughs> She's like, who is this? Um, she doesn't say my number. Is what, that was the joke there. You, <laughs> that's the joke. Uh, are your parents still? Because you grew up in Myrtle Beach. Alive? Yes. Is that, yeah. Because yeah, I look. Because I'm so. Like, I'm still here, okay. Mom. Because <laughs> I'm so old. You have to check that they're they're still alive. Uh, yes, my parents. They don't live in. Myrtle, they're they're in Florida. Okay. Um, and uh, unfortunately, my father has dementia, and he's like in a care facility. Um, but fortunately. Um, somebody gave him a cell phone where all of our numbers are just buttons on the phone. So he calls me six, seven times a day, not remembering that we just spoke five minutes ago. Mm-hmm. And it's all about um, crazy stuff like the Chinese are in his phone. And um, I mean, it's just it is. I mean, you don't want to laugh, but it is kind of funny. Um, but and it's every day I'm like having these conversations with him where uh, it's it's just like a it's almost like talking to comedians has prepared me to deal with my father with dementia because comedians just talk nonstop bullshit. So when you talk to somebody who it doesn't all connect, it's like, Oh yeah, you're just running your bits on me. Okay. Sure. I sure. Sure. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. yes. And go on, go on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. You're just taking a lot of riffs. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah I think bye. that dementia is just basically your brain goes into riff mode and you're done. <laughs> you're done with like cohesive regular thought and you're just like pulling shit out of wherever. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> well, what I do with them is I ask him about like things like gardening and stuff okay. that he really was very knowledgeable and like all the stuff that he would talk about when I was a kid yeah. and an adult that I'd be like, God, I wish you'd stop talking about that. If I bring that up, he's all all of a sudden very lucid and we'll talk about and it. He'll yeah, zone in down yeah, yeah. And it's kind of interesting because it's like all the everything I know about those topics is what he's told me over the years. So I'm literally repeating back to him what he had said and that starts him on a path of talking about oh, that's something. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's the only thing I found that's like makes it where it's an easier than, you know, him calling asking where he is, where's my mom? Because he's in the facility, he forgets that he's even in the facility. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And oh. it, and they there's something called I guess like I don't know if it's sunset or twilight or something. There's some there's some part of the day like between 4 and about 6 o'clock where people who have that uh uh, who are have dementia and Alzheimer's that they get really like agitated and, during that time of day for whatever reason they don't even know why but it's, I get calls from my dad like I literally was talking to him before I came in here in oh, the car he yeah. called me uh, but yeah between four and six o'clock he calls me four or five Golden six hours. hour for photography yeah. But. yeah but it's just and it's about it's like he's agitated he realizes he's in this home where's uh-huh. my mom what's going on and then every time you explain to him he's still it, and part of that too is that they don't they don't know that they're, um, there's anything wrong with them. For sure. Yeah, because yeah. it's a frontal lobe, part of your brain that helps you understand oh, self-awareness. Man. Yeah. So they think that we're just being mean to them. And, of course. Yeah. I don't know why I turned my father to a they, them, but he is. He, <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah. But just they in general, people. I'm yeah. sorry, this isn't funny. <laughs> no, it, but, but it's necessary. But, yeah. it's, but no, but we were, because taking care of somebody is a full-time job. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you... And that that is something that definitely 
is a, something that we want to be able to do to take care of our family. But Absolutely. have you had kind of other caretaker type jobs in your life or have you worked in um, service industry? Service industry. Is Waiting tables is a caretaking job, isn't it? For real? I, I mean, I think um, we take I've had people. so many of those. I've like my first job. I worked at this place that was this. It was an old South fish camp. So not a restaurant, but a fish camp, whatever that means. And what that means is basically that you refried fish in an unventilated trailer um, for minimum wage and probably almost died a couple times. But my, but I was the only thing I was competent enough to do was to run the hush puppy fryer. So they had a whole separate fryer for the hush puppies, and I just made hush puppies, hush puppies, hush puppies. I bet you um, smell like your clothes just smell. Yeah, like cheap dirty grease you know not <laughs> yeah. delicious hush puppies <laughs> yeah. but i used to i have a joke about it where i say that when anybody wanted hush puppies they just shout out oh hush puppy boy and i'd be like <laughs> right away sir and i'd run out there but they wouldn't give me a bowl to put the hush puppies in i just have to take them hot out of the fryer so i'd be like oh your hush puppies your hush puppies <laughs> So it was you said the fish it was a fish camp. Fish camp. Fish camp. Yeah. yeah so like Luann's out, fish outdoors. camp. Okay. Yeah. I, my first job was at a Captain D's. So not not too dissimilar. Not dissimilar. Yeah, mm-hmm. not at all. Yeah, that uh, grease will burn you at a Captain yeah, D's because they have that big well, actually, water. I, about, I wasn't in the kitchen. I was I applied oh, you, for that job and they're like, Oh, you you're pretty articulate. Why don't you <laughs> go stand in the front? Sometimes So you're front of house is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, you're too, yeah. yeah. Sometimes yeah. it works in your favor. Now mm-hmm. I noticed you <laughs> I noticed you used the word articulate. Were you offended when they said that? Not at all. Not at all? Because <laughs> no. you weren't like, I'm not gonna get burned yeah. by this grease. Yeah. I'm yeah. Under a long sleeve. Um so I like, I too briefly worked at a Captain D's. Really? Yeah, really? I was embarrassed about it. I I, I, I I we lived in Myrtle Beach for a very long time and I moved to Peachtree City, Georgia. And for whatever reason I felt like I needed to impress these Peachtree City kids. I don't know why. <laughs> um and I couldn't I had, had a job I got fired from. I got I, I had a job at a pizza place, Partners Pizza, shout out Partners Pizza, it's still around. Okay. Um and the owner's daughter is a friend of mine, went, went to high school with her. But I the manager one night we were um, we were all high, of course. Why would I not be high? But we were high <laughs> making pizzas, and we kept singing one of the songs from the, the soundtrack of the movie Grease. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but we kept singing it and singing it. And they were like, if you sing it one more time, you're fired. And they fi- they literally fired everybody. Like, That's so the whole, funny. like, everybody was, but it was it was also right before closing. Do you but, remember what song it was? I don't know. Is it I think, Summer Nights? I, no, I think it's the other, the, the one that goes like. Grease Lightning? No. Um. What's the one you're the one that I want? Oh, that's the yeah. It's, it's you're the one. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. But we kept doing that part. We just kept going. You're the one that I want. Who, who, who? Just over and over and over and over. After about an hour, we were done. We, yeah. He was like, "You're fired." Um, uh, <laughs> um, but I forget where I was going. Oh, so so the only job I could find was in Fayetteville, outside of Peachtree City, mm-hmm. 35 minutes away. I got a job at the Captain D's. But I was embarrassed, so I lied and said that I had gotten a job working security at Walmart. <laughs> I don't know why. Because that's better. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah, no, because because I, I was in the back watching camera, so you couldn't come see me at the job. Because oh. that was the thing. Back then, we had no phones. There was nothing oh. to do. So you'd go hang out with somebody. Yo, you work at Captain D's? We're going to come to Captain D's. That, that was like a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, so I, had, I came up with that, and then... Um, a friend of mine got hurt and uh, they called my mom and my mom was like, they're, she's like, he's at work. And they're like, oh, at Walmart? She, they're like, no, he works at Captain D's. So oh. they could, they called the Captain D's and I had literally just left. I had just left. And then later it was like a, they didn't, they didn't let on that they knew. My friends mm-hmm. didn't let on. And then one day they finally were like, we know you work at Captain D's. <laughs> and I had already since then been fired from Captain D's and got in another secret job that I, so I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. The lies just kept piling on. And then they were like, we don't care. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? And I don't know why. I, th- I, I, I think it was because Peachtree City, it was, it was much richer kids. Like we're, uh, I lived okay. in Myrtle Beach was like the bad part of town. Mm. Like if you're, you know, you all know Shelly. Shelly's Shelley. from Myrtle Beach. Okay. Shelly's from Polly's Island, though. The fancy, the part. fancy part. Yeah, and I'm from Surfside, which is like the Surfside. dirt poor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The wrong side the, of the, the wrong tracks. Side of yeah. yeah. She's the, got those, like, the, wrong, the wrong side of the beach. The wrong side of the beach. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The wrong side real, of the sandcastle. Real crusty. <laughs> we can keep going. The real, wrong side of the moat? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, we can keep going. The inlet <laughs> down there. Um, so, yeah. I mean, but, okay, so then there's, speaking of stores, because I worked retail, but you worked in Walmart. Any mm-hmm. grocery store experience? Oh, like I worked a, at a Kroger. Okay. Uh huh. A bagging groceries, and I worked at a in the bakery at a Publix. <laughs> uh huh. 
Um, oh, but I love it. it. So the, my cakes? second job, my second job. Yeah. So after Lou Van's uh, fish, uh, bakery, bread, cakes, the whole deal. Oh yeah. my God. I didn't decorate, but uh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah um, but my second job, I got a job in Myrtle Beach at the Myrtle Square Mall at this place called the Fudge Factory. Oh my God. Yeah. Which wasn't a whimsically named gay bar. It's a literal, <laughs> literal place where they, when I do it as a joke, people laugh when I say Fudge Factory because they're like, ha ha ha. And then, uh, you know, and my job wasn't. <laughs> to pack the fudge exclusively you know what i mean like if you wanted your fudge to go yeah we packed it definitely do you know what i mean i packed a lot of fudge but my job was uh i was a junior fudge sampler uh which isn't a euphemism for anything it's just a, that was my job um so when my i had to cut the fudge which is a euphemism for don't google it though um but i would cut the fudge and then i'd have to go out on the mall floor and okay. and ask people i couldn't say would you like to try the fudge i had they they made us say would you like to taste my fudge Oh, yeah. And so I did that for a little while. Um, and then I got fired from that job because I, I put a lot of spice on that. Yeah. I was, was a, you said junior fudge sampler. Junior, junior fudge sampler. That's, yeah. I love, I love job titles. They're so official for like. Yeah. <laughs> for like what it's oh, yeah. not. Like, like, like yeah. Just yeah. Out for oh, you. and I was only probationary because I didn't last long enough. Yeah, yeah. So like not, I, was on 90, I was on a 90 day trial there. I also feel like they can't say that anymore. The, no, they can, you, can do. Oh, can here they can. Can you taste my fudge? Oh, can you taste my, I don't think so. I They're mean, not. They, they, can, they knock, like that. They knocked down like, that mall. So I don't know if okay. those people relocated anywhere. But no, back then it was like if I said, hey, you want to try this fudge? They'd be like. It doesn't establish my deep relationship to the fudge that I should have as a member of the Fudge Factory team. <laughs> these people who own these places are like <laughs> monsters. They're like psychotic in the way they wanted you to care about it back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I was telling you the street you live on is mm -hmm. right next to the... Um, the the porn rental stores yes, right around the corner is. from your home, yeah, and I the, and want. I knew the address because I was like I used to work there, <laughs> <laughs> but they were the same way. They were like, um, hey, you can't you can't park in the parking lot because that's where the customers, yeah. you know, the sex perverts. That's where they <laughs> they park. You we park don't around. Make them walk yeah, far. we don't you don't make them walk. You know what I mean? <laughs> they have erections. They can't walk. <laughs> yeah, they can't. <laughs> they gotta, it's uncomfortable to walk like that. Um, I'm trying to think of what other kind of jobs that I've had that would. I oh, I managed. <laughs> I was the manager. I was management I you were about of an app, apple dumpling booth okay. at a um, Renaissance fair. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. In costume. What did you have to dress up? Oh no, I was man. Well, no, I did. We had to wear like peasant <laughs> shirts. Yeah. I had to wear like a peasanty top and some black That's pants cute. Okay. and some. Dan I could wear dance goes because those were like ergonomic shoes, or whatever. But yeah, I worked at uh, for two or three years. I worked at uh, every summer uh, or spring really is because it was like basically like May to like July. I'm picturing those being very hot. Oh yeah, so unventilated little shat. Oh, yeah. I've worked in a lot of like dangerous that job um it was an upgrade the apple dumpling booth from the <laughs> um some kind of grilled chicken booth that i was in oh. where they literally had a line of of grills in a unventilated uh shack and you would grill until you got faint and then you would go sit outside for half an hour and be somebody else's turn and then you'd tag back in until you got dizzy oh yeah you were doing and, a lot of unventilated but we, operations it was the best time though yeah. you know what i mean like it How was old were you? uh like 16 17 yeah, that's the best uh, well cuz like it was the 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 booth next to ours was the beer booth and everybody who was running everything was 18 and under. So we just drank all day. So you were in this booth sweating, uh, making chicken, making chicken, making chicken um, until you were faint. And then someone would tag you out and you just drink beer, drink beer, drink beer. So by the time you got home, you were wasted and you had made money all day. It was like a, the perfect. Having fun with your friends. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they friends. regulate all that now. But back then it was yeah, just no, like. I mean, Free for all. Frying stuff in the tent every summer. I mean, it doesn't get more American than that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. God bless. Yeah. It doesn't get more Renaissance than that, for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know how they had yeah. those deep fryers back then? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> the worst place to work was the turkey leg booth, because they were... You didn't work they, always they, Oh, no, because they're just disgusting. Oh, okay. Because they start out frozen, and, and as they cook, they render all the fat out, uh -huh. and then somebody has to take that big tray of those nasty turkey legs and drain all the fat off of them and then put them back in so they get crispy on the outside. Or mm -hmm. So there's a lot of like people 
burning <laughs> themselves. Uh, I feel like that also has the longest line because that's uh, the most like Renaissancey thing to I walk get, around. Yeah. Like. Have you ever eaten one though? Like, oh no, it's like the first couple bites are all like crispy and savory or whatever, and then the rest of it's just like gelatinous, undercooked. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm sure they're great now. Don't sure me. They're and they're great. wonderful. The technology's improved. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they're like yeah. in an air fryer. And that's a, that's what the Renaissance mm-hmm. is about is modern technology. <laughs> and the, the best oh, air, air fryer. That'd be amazing too. <laughs> like uh, somebody, I'm sure if you TikToked uh, Turkey Lake air fryer, there's somebody out there who's like, come on guys, this is going to be the new thing. And it's just one giant. <laughs> you can only fit one Turkey Lake in an air fryer. With the music experience. Okay. <laughs> so you didn't decorate the cakes at the Publix. I didn't. I, I worked in the bakery. Did you ever um, aspire for that? Huh? Did you ever aspire to do that? To one? decorate the... No, I'm left-handed. Okay. And um, so... Say less, yeah. Yeah, you know it. what I mean? <laughs> I've never been a... You yeah. know, I've like... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I've, I took some art classes and mm-hmm. was able to draw for a while. But like the cake and the putting the, the tips and all that, mm-hmm. it was too much. Like baking and following those instructions mm-hmm. and, you know, you know, knowing when to turn stuff so it doesn't fucking... All that, I loved that. And it was a, it was a job where... Um, I worked from 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. was the and the first two hours I was by myself and I loved it. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it was the best because it's like uh, every other job I've ever had, like those kind of jobs, you're always with. The job I had previously, I worked at a Chick-fil-A and was working like morning shift with all of these like, um, (laughs) I shouldn't say old biddies, but these older ladies who were very set in their ways, they like miss... Miss Sylvia and Miss Francine and Miss So and So. Old biddies. Yeah, and if you <laughs> and if you ever got mad at one of them and said girls. something like, "Hey, can you fucking hurry up, you old bit?" or you know what I mean? Yeah. You, I didn't say that, but I'd be like, if I said energy. anything like, "Hey, move it," they'd be like, "You disrespected me," and so it's like, the Lord. <laughs> yeah, and we'd have to like have a conversation, and everyone yeah. would cry and hug at the yeah, end, and us. all. That. And after enough of that emotional fucking abuse, I was like, "I'm out of here." And the, the there was where I lived at the time. I was living with my parents, and the a Publix had opened up, and it yeah. was like I I was the first one of that people who worked at that Chick Fil A to then migrate to that. So like, I quit. Gave them, I, I think I gave them the full amount of notice. I'm real big on when I quit one day notice um, for you're most like, jobs. Yeah, yeah. You're like, we're yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I quit. And it's like, oh, well, let's talk about the no, <laughs> no. Let's talk about the give me my last check. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so how yeah. you're on breakups too? Oh, um, It's been a long time because you've been paying for so yeah, long. Yeah, I haven't broken up with anybody in a while. Uh, yeah. I'm a, There's still I, time. Well, I used to, my, my belief is, what? For pain and I to break up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I you I, don't make me curse you to die alone, Lissandra. <laughs> no, 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 I have don't crystals make, here. I, I, there's not enough crystals in this room <laughs> no, to. I'm no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Who did I break? Um, I'm a. It's a pretty fi- final. There's very few of my exes that I talk to, um, or that are still alive. And I'll just leave it at that. Let's just. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The, most of my exes I don't speak to, um, and. Uh, one of them, when I see him in town, he turns around and goes the other way. So oh, that's, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, but he's a cheater, so that's what he gets. Oh, and, that is what. And I made sure to drag him in front of his whole family before. Oh, we that's great. Him, so, we but, love that. Yeah. Did um, you when you when you were in, now I wouldn't do that though. Back then that was a, a very I chose I chose violence a lot in my twenties. Yeah, well, he violence cheated on sometimes you. Sometimes it's the answer. I mean, sometimes it's always the answer until you go, oh, hey. Well, he cheated on you. That's he cheated on yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. Um, well, one more, pu- one last Publix bakery question and then we'll okay. move on. Did you have to like make the, like, did they give you the ingredients or was it like pre-mixed things? Um, it depended on what you were making. So now I think that a lot of the stuff is sent in already frozen. All right. Um, so, but like it, back then, like if you were making sourdough, they, it was a bag kit, but you still had to add. So you um, not everything you had to add yeast to. So some stuff would come with the yeast already in it. Okay. Some stuff, you, most of the stuff you had to add, add yeast to, like the cakes and all that kind of stuff. Those were pretty much, um, you'd have They're to add the, the eggs the and the, ingredients. I'm trying to think of like almost everything you had to, to make. And then uh, like some stuff, like if you ever get a pecan or a, a like a pecan pie or a pumpkin pie yeah. or any of that, those all came in frozen and are just okay. baked. So they're assembled somewhere in a plant. Um, but I think most of the bread now is that way too. Uh, yeah. There were some of the breads, like semolina bread, which they don't even have, I don't think, anymore. That was my yeah. favorite. Um, that was one that we would make and, you know, do the whole thing. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, yeah. Back then, it was, so that was probably about 20. It's a cool skill to learn. Six or 27 years ago. I mean, I still know how to make bread. My arms, my forearms looked so good back then. I mean, they still kind of, oh, yeah, you like, do this, <laughs> you do this for two years every day, six days a week. Yeah. Could you make a sheet cake? 
Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. I did a lot of that where you'd make, I'd make all the, the, so you would basically do the breads, then the cakes, and then any of the specialty, whatever, sort of like in that order every morning. So the breads take the longest because they have to proof and rise. And then basically while you're waiting for all that to happen, you would make all the, like the fucking, uh, um, rolls and. Do you like British Bake Off? Um, no, because I don't think that British, like when they're like, oh, and it has a lot of marzipan in it. All that shit is gross to me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it has orange and chocolate together. (laughs) Fuck that. Who the fuck wants, you know what I mean? Like, like these British flavor, oh, hazelnut and licorice. Fuck off. You know, like I don't, yeah, it looks beautiful, but I would throw that in the trash. Do you know? And then they're by, and then Mary Berry. Like I could like the, anytime she had to bite into anything harder than like pudding, yeah. I thought like her teeth were going to break and fucking, do you know, she would like go to bite into it like a scone and I, and I just, yeah. So I've, I tried with that for a while because all my friends are like, Oh, you would love it. It's so great. Da, da, da. And I'm like, yeah. it was all right. It's I watched, I watched like a season or two and then I, and then after a while I was like, they were, somebody made something and they're like, it's kind of, Oh, it's going to be licorice and lime and chocolate. And I was like, Oh my no. God touched on your wonderful husband pain mm-hmm. um so you guys have been together who touched on him <laughs> who <laughs> touched on my husband <laughs> you don't touch who on him. touched okay uh but you guys have been together for 22 years uh 23 this year 23? this oh. december mm-hmm. okay. yeah, well, yeah, so yeah since since literally the year 2000 uh 1999 no, no, yeah no, no. well then maybe 24 this year god i have to update all my jokes another year oh <laughs> um so yeah 24 then i guess is that right When's your anniversary? 2023, uh, December 15th, 1999 is when I met okay. him. Okay, so yeah, 20, the 24 December, years. It'll be 24. Okay, wow. sorry about that, pain. He, he's not going to watch this. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't like watching any of this kind of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I can barely get him to go to a show. Um, but uh, yeah, we met. I picked him up at a gay bar. Uh, um, I do a joke about this as well, I guess. I could do this. I mean, uh, he. Um, when I met him, I was just finishing undergrad i think it took me like i i worked all of my way through college yeah. so it took me a while i had this one introduction to jazz class that i had to, so i had finished my major was working in my field and still had one class i had to take and it was like i it finally occurred at eight o'clock in the morning so i could go take the class before i went to my office job um but i i had just finished i graduated and i had gone out and i was planning to move to san diego my brother lived in san diego at the time and i was like i'm gonna move to san diego and I met and I went and I was like not interested in meeting anybody. The last guy I dated was the one who cheated on me. So I was, yeah. I was like, I'm not. So I went out like just to hang out with my friends and I saw pain from across the room and was like real smitten, he, like the dimples. He has dimples. Mm-hmm. And was just like, oh, um, but back then I, when I would go out to the bars, I wouldn't wear my glasses. Uh, so then I lost sight of him and I was like, oh, well. And then another guy I see that looks a little bit like the same guy, but he's wearing a different shirt and uh, not as cute of a shirt. And and I think, oh, this guy's all right. And so this guy comes up and starts talking to me because I never talked to the other guy. I just, yeah. the second, second guy, and he's talking to me, da, da, da. And then I'm like waiting for the first guy. I'm like, maybe he's still around before I'm going to decide whether I'm going to, because like this guy, I like him enough, but there's first guy. Um, yeah. And then, uh, so I'm like, fuck it. So we go home, uh, we hook up. Uh, amazing. Um, we met during Christmas time, so it's like a Hallmark movie. You know those Hallmark movies where mm-hmm. it's like, everyone falls in love at Christmas. I was doing this as a bit for a while, and I would ask the whole room, clap if anybody's ever uh, fallen in love during Christmas time. And room after room after room, nobody would clap. So it's a lie. The Hallmark movie of meeting during Christmas is a fucking lie. Except for really blessed people like myself. and me, Right? Yeah. If you haven't fallen in love during Christmas time, God hates you, basically. Right? And uh, But we met. We hooked up. Um, and then uh, two days later, I found his card uh, in my, um, uh, like, next to my bed, basically. I think he left it and it had fallen off the bed. And uh, his business card, by the way. Hilarious. So I called his his business card or uh, whatever. And um, but what I did was I looked up the business and I called the receptionist because he had a he it said direct line on his. So I called the receptionist and I and I'm like and I said you 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 left this business card at my apartment. You're gonna need to come get it. Uh, you get come get the. And I was joking, obviously. Like let's yeah, hang yeah. on again. Um, and. Cool. 
Yeah, right? You know, yeah. I decided to be an asshole was my (laughs) second move was just to call him just be an obnoxious dick. Uh, And it worked. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, But then we went on another date and um, immediately hooked up again, I guess. But that's when I realized he said something about I'm so he. Oh, no, it was weeks later. uh, We're having some conversation. He goes, I'm so glad that I came back to Blake's that night. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he goes, yeah, my friend was wanting to leave. And he, he had this friend that was literally standing in between the two of us while I was talking to him uh, and going, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, uh, and that friend of his wanted to leave. So he had driven him to wherever and then changed his shirt and came back. I don't know why he changed his shirt, <laughs> but I literally thought it was two different people. And it wasn't. It was him just in a shirt that I didn't like as much. <laughs> And I'm so blind, I didn't know. I didn't even know. That's beautiful. Isn't that great? Um, so I almost hooked up with him twice. <laughs> but I settled on him. You know what I mean? Like, better dressed him was my... So, but suffice to say, he's never worn the Get shirt the again. Best of both worlds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and ultimately, I took all his clothes off the minute I got him home. So it didn't even matter didn't what even shirt matter. he was wearing. But yeah, yeah. So we met... Um, and then we've been together for, like I said, 24 years. Uh, we didn't live together the first year, though... Um, because I had never lived by myself. So before we moved in together, I was like, I want to live on my own. And, uh, and a little overrated, I guess. <laughs> Me and a cat had an apartment for a year. Um, <laughs> yeah, we moved in together and we've been together ever since. And, uh, uh, we did a lot of going to comedy, like as our date night. Yeah. So when I started comedy, it was, it, it like some people, when you've been together for a while and then you start comedy, it, it's a real issue because right. you're going to be out every night and mm-hmm. if they're used to you being around all the time. It's going to yeah. be a huge issue. Uh, but Payne, his dad was a musician. So like he just understood the lifestyle in terms of yeah. like, I'm not out having fun, even if it looks like I'm out having fun. And even if I am out having fun, it's still work. work yeah. yeah. Um, so he's been great in that regard because he's very supportive and um, definitely helps me. What uh, line of work is Payne in? He owns a staffing company. So he, he, oh, cool. he like places like physical therapists and um, oh. occupational therapists, all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. So he's a healthcare pimp is what I like to call him. I so. love that for him. <laughs> yeah. And he, he works from home. He's, you know. You guys were together for like a lot of milestones. Like you've covered the Y2K, the Twin Towers. Yeah. Like all the... the Y2K the wasn't like... That big of a deal? I mean... I mean, I, rem- I mean to like people that I knew that were programmers that were getting paid to change... Uh, the two-year digits or the four-year digit, they loved it. And everybody else, it didn't... Af- I mean, I worked with all kinds of whatever technology yeah. in advertising and PR at the time. Like, the, all the software that we... None of it was affected in any... You know what yeah. I mean? It was like... It, the lead-up to it was like, oh, no, no. And then when it finally happened, it was like, okay. You know? Okay, so I didn't know what yeah. we but, and, but And 9-11, same thing. Yeah. Nobody cared about that. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even remember. Nine, was, nine, nine, three. You were three when Plus. 9-11 happened? I got the day off from work. They sent us home. I was in high school. Yeah. They were like, everyone can go home today. Oh, that's And I was like, nine eleven day. Like, and then the next year, I was like, are we going to it like as a commemorative? Nope. So was the fear that like the computers were just going to explode? Like, yeah. Yeah, because so, the numbers didn't know what to do with like... It was going to reset to zero. Most of computers is, is, is numbers, aren't they? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah no yeah well in they some in some <laughs> program but like if you were doing like if you were saying what year is it yeah yeah, yeah. 2023 uh, or 23 yeah, yeah so when it resets yeah. to zero that what they thought was is that is it gonna all the computers are gonna shut down because it's 1900 uh, or whatever yeah. i don't even know what they but that's what and that was the issue was it was like when you said okay this is the space that we're gonna use for a date if you made it two digits you're well first of all they, those people should be fired because yeah, they're right. fucking idiots. Uh, you know, I've yeah, worked in programming right. enough to, it's like somebody made a dumbass decision very early on. And it was probably because back then storing data was that like shaving two uh, numbers off thinking, would make a yeah. huge difference in the amount mm-hmm. of how much. Uh, and, and in modern terms, it's like we have more data on our phone than they had in the server rooms at the Pentagon back in the six. You know what I mean? It's insane. Yeah. My dad, he used to work at the Pentagon and they, in those, like I got to see those like the it, just rooms full of like yeah. hot computers going with reels and yeah, it was, I mean, it was bizarre. Yeah, it was totally bizarre. Your dad was for the government? 
Or worked for the government? He is a uh, Air Force Air and Force. for a while was at the Pentagon. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. And yeah. a gardening enthusiast too. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's super gardener guy. Uh he would be, he built all these um boxes in my parents' backyard and when they lived in Peachtree City. Uh, that my mom was like, these are coffins. He's building a coffin. If I ever disappear, look under the tomatoes. Yeah. You always ask the spouse. You always look yeah. for the spurs. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, why are they all exactly five feet, seven inches long? That's suspicious. <laughs> but they did. They had a beautiful house down in Petrie City that had all of this. They had a, like a pool and all this garden stuff and vegetables. Um, and then they had all this bamboo on the side of the house. Yeah. And then it had grown into the neighbor's house. Okay. And the neighbors were like, hey, it's destroying our yard. And my dad was like, fuck off. And so the neighbors sued them and they won. And as part of the ruling, my dad had to pay, to, like, or the insurance company ended up paying to fix the yard. But as part of the ruling, because my dad was such an asshole in the proceedings, the judge ruled that he had to cut down all the bamboo. So not only do you have to like remedy what's going on, you have to. And so my dad cut, oh, I can't remember the number, 500 and something, 536 pieces of 25 foot uh, bamboo. Aww. And he cut them all down and then laid them all out in his backyard in the sun to cure and like basically dry out yeah. um, evenly. Uh, and then he built like a framework and he rehung all of that bamboo exactly where it had been and now it was a big wind chime and every time the wind uh blew it would go clank 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 right next to the back porch of the people that had just won the lawsuit um so they then installed a giant floodlight that was like on a hair trigger like if a if a lizard farted that light came on for 45 minutes and that was pointed directly at my parents bedroom uh, and then my dad mounted a speaker on their house and played hawk noises all night long until the police were called. Um, and then he installed his own floodlight, and it was like a demilitarized zone between their two houses. There was so much light, it looked like it was, you know, like, the, I don't know, just insane. Like and then movie. finally my my mom was like, we're moving. You know what I mean? Like, they finally, like, they, the, they retired to Florida. She retired from teaching. But it was like this ever escalating. It was like a spy versus spy. Oh, like, yeah. It was, it was wow. crazy. Contraptions. And so every time we would come down there, there'd be like, he the I, the bird sounds was the thing that like just fucking blew my mind. He had put put a speaker That's and then wild. just all you heard was ha 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 like just birds of prey. It was a, it was a MP3 <laughs> that he had downloaded called Birds of Prey. No. Just and it's supposed to scare off like um I don't know what it's supposed to scare <laughs> something off. But it, but he did it. What he did was he turned it up so loud that the neighbors could hear. It. In their bedroom, and then they <laughs> called the police. And oh yeah, it was a, it was a crazy. And then that whole time, like my parents, they lived about f- like 30, 40 minutes away. So they would come up on Sundays a lot to have lunch, and we would all go out to lunch. And and my they my dad would always immediately have to go to the bathroom. So like when my dad would go to the bathroom, the minute he got away from the table, my mom would be like, "Don't bring up the bamboo. Don't mention the bamboo. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't bring up that bamboo. You know, we don't talk about. It. I want to hear about it. All I hear about all day long is the bamboo. And then." <laughs> and then uh, and then at some point she'd get up and go to the bathroom and then when she'd come back she'd sit down and go well we might as well talk about that bamboo <laughs> like then she'd bring it up and go on and on and on oh my god your yeah. mom sounds like a riot she's pretty funny yeah are your parents both funny in different ways uh, intentionally, yeah unintentionally yeah my 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 mom's a school teacher or was a school okay. teacher she taught Spanish which is kind of cheating because yeah. she's from Chile yeah. right so you just talk to people yeah. or whatever. <laughs> but um, she is very, dr- she has that kind of dry sense of humor. Yeah. So she's very like, and she's, and, you know, Senora Eber, you know. And, <laughs> yeah. and so her thing is like, I mean, honestly, the stories that she's told me over the years, my mom's a roast comic and she doesn't even know she's a roast comic. Because all she does is burn these, like, so these little kids will try to say something to get get her and then she'll just say something to just devastate. Like, so they'll go, she, they'll say something to her and she'll be, and the room will go, ha, 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 And then she'll say something and people will be like, ha, ah! you know what I mean? Like, and that's just been, like, when I, the first time I ever did a roast, I was like, oh, I, this is the love language we speak at my house. You know, <laughs> backhanded compliment. You know, like, that's a, that's just the bread and butter. Okay. You know, 
Um, and even like with my mom, you know, she's been dealing with my dad and putting him uh, in a home, which has been very difficult. And I mean, they have to go through the process to, to declare him incompetent and mm. da da da. And uh, and you know, she's like, you know, she says things, you know, just the way she is about it. Some of the stuff she says, like she's like, you know, I did. She's been seeing him. She goes sees him every day in the for mm. for you know two or three hours every day. And then she missed a day because she just got her hip replaced. She didn't feel good. And uh, and then she's like, you know, and I felt so terrible. And then I talked to him and he doesn't even know that I didn't come to see him because guess what? He has dementia and he doesn't remember. And then so she's like, I could just stop going. He wouldn't even know. And I'm like, but just the way and I know she won't. She'll keep going. Yeah. But just that's how she like that type of taking a very terrible thing and immediately making a, a joke out of it is how I was. And I didn't. Yeah. Like when I told my parents I was going to do comedy, they were, were totally against it because they, yeah. she, my mom doesn't see the value in that. You know what I mean? Sure. Like especially, like in Chile, like Chile yeah. now they have yeah. comedy, comedy scene, the whole thing. Yeah. But when she grew up there, there was no, oh, you know, yeah. you, there were if you were getting up and speaking like that, you were a political dissident. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. how that was the vibe of Chile back then. You know, yeah. pre Allende, pre Pinochet. Yeah, especially there's no way to. That's not a trade. Yeah. to make or that they that they know of. Yeah, they know the. But I think she gets it now because. It's like I've been doing it for like 11 years and I quit my day job and it's not like yeah. I'm making tons of money, but I'm we're, like we can afford for me to do it and I make more money. I've been making consecutively more money every, every year. year and like she knows that I'm happy because like I had a IT job um, that I hated. Yeah. I, you know, I worked for a big payroll company and I don't literally almost speak to no one that I worked with and I worked there for 20 years oh, wow. because I hated working there and I, and I came to really have contempt and loathing for the people that I worked with right. uh, because that. they were either bad at their Both job. Both yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, I, when I, that was a job that I quit after 20 years and I gave them one day's notice. Okay. <laughs> You're like, Bang. Yeah. And they were like, they were like, you know, customarily in a position like yours, someone would give a month's notice and I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm just. I'm done today. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. See, yeah. I'm up. I'll see you later. <laughs> and I hate you it. Fire me. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, and they did say something like, "Oh, well, you know, this will follow you in this industry." And I was like, what? "Well, it's a good thing I'm never gonna work in this fucking industry again." <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. yeah. Oh, dude. I was so like, I regret in some ways quitting when I did because I could have. I could have waited another six months. But when I decided to do it and Payne was like, okay, because I thought he'd go, well, you know, think it through and da, da, da. Yeah. But he was like, do it because he knew I was miserable too. I hated it. I mean, I, yeah. and it was, it was the kind of job where they would, if you were the kind of person you felt like you wanted to give, they would take every, you know what I mean? Like oh, exploit delicious. it. So you're in a salary position, but you're basically making, you know, yeah. close to minimum wage after on some weeks. Yeah. There's some weeks I'd work like a hundred hours a week. And then the people that managed me, uh, would call me on Saturday from the golf course to they see how the like they own you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I had a, uh, and there was a, and the the sp specific division I worked in was based in Jacksonville, and there was a lot of nepotism on the very top level. So it was like, uh, isn't it weird that the vice president and the CFO went to high school together? Yeah, it is. It really is fucking weird because neither one of them recall. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah it is weird. Of nepo yeah. Babies. Oh yeah. Oh. But I did see one of the funniest things at that job ever. Mm -hmm. They, uh, <laughs> the the lady who ran the division. I won't say her name. I don't want to get into any trouble. But the lady who ran the division was grew up in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, she looked like that she should have been the queen of sales at like Mary Kay Cosmetics. She had like <laughs> like just this crazy bleach blonde hair, mm -hmm. like way too much makeup on, All like right. enough makeup to make up four or five faces, and uh, was always wearing something very kind of like. Like business appropriate, but also like you always saw saw some titty. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, yeah, and as a gay man, I was obsessed with her. Do you know what I mean? Like I loved her. Fantastic. I mean, she looked like a drag queen. I was just like, oh my god, who is this? Um, and then they did some kind. They were really big on having conferences because it was a lot of remote employees, so they'd always yeah. have these annual like uh, conferences where everyone would get drunk and fuck mm. and cheat on their spouses with each other or whatever. Mm. But I'm not going to get into that. But she, they did, decided to do a talent show and she, her and whoever it was that was the CFO that she went to high school with and then some other sad whoever person that also worked there um, all wore these bathing suits which all of them were well past the age of wearing a bathing suit On like stage. that. Yeah. Um, 
and they did a um a baton twirling number to it's raining men uh and it was and they and and they won yeah it was a floor routine there you go but they did they all and they and like the 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 baton the whole thing um and it was like i don't know for whatever reason seeing that i was like yeah i'm just i can't take you seriously ever (laughs) again i think her her Hers had a modesty panel, so at least she had that like ruffle. Right. But the other that. two ladies were wearing some like French cut. I was like, these these were the bathing suits they wore in the high school when they did this, and now they're wearing them now, like many many years later. And it's like, just things have moved. Ooh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, it and like, it's no, no, no French no cuts. Shame. French cut is only for green beans, not yeah. for swimsuits. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? No like, shame. Yeah. We love we love your body as you age, but things have moved. Yeah, um, that job. So we've reached the part of the podcast where we are going to ask. Ian, our hot comic, for a comedy hottie, which is somebody that is younger than you in comedy years okay. that you would like to shine a spotlight on. It doesn't have... You do... Uh, you are a big influence in this comedy world uh, here in Atlanta, and so I know sometimes it's hard for people to pick... Just Atlanta, Lissandra? In the I'm world. Joking, I'm in joking. the world. Well, look, okay. Lace, Lace was here, and yeah. like, I've had other people that yeah. like have a lot... That mentor a lot of people. Yeah. So I know that it's difficult to choose one person, but shoot. Just kidding. Okay. But like... Uh, anyone? Can I do? Can I have a hottie and a naughty? Can I be oh. like this is my, who I like, and this is who should quit tomorrow? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Me. we'll just do the hottie, and we'll do the other one off camera. <laughs> Join their Patreon if you want to find out. <laughs> Click subscribe, bitches. Swipe up. Okay, uh, hottie. I'm gonna have to say I would love. There's so many guys. Atlanta. This is very hard. So if you're watching this, and I don't say your name. I thought it. I did think it. Um, I'm, but I'm gonna have to say Miriam Marietta Mendler Mar- right Mar- now. Mar- Mar- yeah, Mar- yeah. Mar- and isn't she one of the guest co-hosts yeah, on this? She yeah, Marietta. Um, gosh, where do I begin? Uh, those eyes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, there. Okay, so I've seen. I almost feel like now I'm doing a Marietta kind of like. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 um, I've seen her. Yeah, this kind of like you're here. Yeah. Like she's like, like yeah I don't know why <laughs> but uh, she I've seen her a bunch over let's say the last year year and a half yeah and then uh, I don't remember where it was I think it was at Noni's I saw her one time at Noni's and like the way she is off stage is very kind of like oh geez uh, and the, and 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 sort of like it's a frenetic kind of energy yeah. and she sort of stammers or like switches direction what she's about to say a lot. And all of those things should not work and should in- inhibit your ability to effectively deliver a joke. Mm-hmm. But she's managed to take it and harness it and y- nobody else could tell a Marietta joke. No. Like if you, if she transcribed one for you and mm-hmm. said, here, yeah, no. you would have a very difficult time yeah. unless you were just straight up doing an imitation of her. Yeah. But if you were like, hey, do this joke, she's taken that. Uh, all those things, those little like it, okay. idiosyncrasies and things that probably, if she took a class, would be coached out of her, mm-hmm. um, and has leaned into it. And so it's like to me, there's something about like being original is so important in comedy, and it's very hard to do because yeah. we're there's only so many premises, right? Yeah. So it's your take on something that somebody's already probably touched on somehow. Um, and she's talking about emojis. I've God, I've heard it, I don't know, 50 them. emoji jokes. Yeah. But what she decided to do with emoji jokes it's so cute. Um, is amazing. And she, uh, I don't want to give away the joke, but there's one of one of the bits in that joke. Oh. She says, oh, if you want to keep do something spicy, send them three beans. <laughs> What's that about? Figure it out. Where do, where do those go? Is what how she, and <laughs> that was such a good joke that when I had her on date night, which I just rebooted at yeah. Argosy. If you live in East Atlanta, it's the first, uh, or no, second Wednesday of the month. And it's a great show. It's it's uh, basically two for one pricing, so it's encouraging people to go on dates. Uh, but Marietta did that three beans joke or the the emojis joke, and then I solicited for tips at the end. I said, "Hey, if you like the comics, we'd like to pay them more. Mm-hmm. Tip everybody." And somebody tipped, and they the, uh, their comment was three beans, just uh. the just the three beans emoji. So you know it sunk into their head, and that. You can't ask for better than that. In my, yeah, that her, you her contact image on my phone is one of the emojis that yeah, she talks about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so people are going to leave remembering that, and then the next time somebody brings up emojis, or if anybody ever sends you three beans, you're going to go, "Oh, that," and you may may not even remember her name, but you'll go, "That," per-, you know what I mean? And um, and I and I've been uh, uh, been able to put her on different things. So I 
I've worked her in to a lot of places recently yeah. and she's killing it. All the like time. she's yeah. some some like her even tide, she was on Even Tide Brewing, yeah. uh, another show that I produced and was one of my favorite sets of the night. Yeah. And might be like the high water mark that I've seen of her. And I'm like, okay, Great. if you're that if you can be that good, then that you know what I'm saying? And that's how yeah. that's how it is sometimes with comics, especially younger comics. I hear a lot, oh, I wanted to have a good set in front of Ian and and it makes me feel bad because it's like, you know, a lot of times they don't. Um, <laughs> but I understand why they want to. But I understand why they want to. And yeah. so it's like, it's worse for me to pretend like you had a good set for you in the long run. If I, you know what I'm saying? I'm never, I'm never going to be like, that fucking sucked. Unless yeah. I know you really well and we have an be agreement like, that I can be that honest with you, like, yeah. then I will say it yeah. like that. But like most of the time, like I've, ha I've had the instance of, uh, it hasn't happened recently, but in the last couple of years, uh, I, someone, someone did a set, uh, they walked off stage and I smiled at them. And then the next day I heard that I had told them that they had a great set and that I was going to da 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 and that I loved them and I thought they were really funny. And and all I did was smile. That's all I did was I just smiled. It was in the eyes. Yeah, I know. And yeah, exactly. You could have been looking at the person behind them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and I, just... I, I, I might have, I, I'm sure I nodded too. Maybe it was the nod. Maybe if mm -hmm. I had gone like this, they wouldn't have thought of that, but I did this. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so sometimes I feel like that people are out there looking they're looking for, for confirmation sure. bias. They're looking for somebody to mm -hmm. say, oh, I am great because I think I'm great. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that like for somebody like a, a Marietta who I've seen a bunch, then to see all of a sudden, I call them quantum leaps too because like people get better, but it's not like sometimes it's in incrementally yeah. and then sometimes all of a sudden something clicks clicks, and they're much mm -hmm. better, not just a little better. They're yeah. much better. And I think that she's somebody that like, well, for whatever reason it's been clicking right. and I can't wait to see, I, I hope that it stays clicking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, absolutely. Yay. Yeah. Well, we love, absolutely. we love Marietta. Absolutely. We love her. She's the best. Yep. We're going to do the last part here where we're going to do hot takes. This is fun. This okay. is just getting your cute little opinion on these things. All right. Uh, so I'm going to read this first one and then you're, okay. and then we'll switch. Yeah. We'll alternate. So ho hot drink, hot drink, mm -hmm. uh, a pro or con or just what name one, name one, whatever. Pro hot or pro or drink. Con. Um, if I was going to have a hot drink right now, mm -hmm. uh, I will take a, a chai Ooh. with oat milk. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. Sugar free if I can have it because I'm on keto, but yeah. If uh, if they don't have that, I'll just go out of ketosis for you. I suppose. Oh wow! Yeah, um, I like a latte too, or a flat white. Coffee would be fine. The strips wouldn't be pink yeah, anymore. Yeah, I'm, if yeah, yeah, no, I know my I, strips. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give that. I wouldn't. Would you yeah. even bother with the strips at that point? No, I, if I knock myself, I, I gotta no, save yeah. those strips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't want to also have. I don't. Like, the hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't want to see it not be pink. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a beverage guy, though. I lo I adore a beverage. Uh, like life is about various beverages all through the day Having a bunch of different cups yeah around you. well maybe not that but like yeah. you know you start with a sparkling water then you mm. move to this and i i've been drinking um uh diet lemonade that's like the because i can't i just cannot force myself to drink water mm -hmm. so i'm drinking like <laughs> eight of those a day so i'm sure i'm giving myself some kind of cancer but like i feel skinny you know? <laughs> but look at but yeah me. but I'm a, I'm a beverage guy i love a beverage. hot food Ian. hot food i'm pro hot food Good. um yeah Someone have you ever had anybody, have you ever heard a, like, this is a guy, a very straight guy thing to say, I don't care what it is, as long as it's hot and there's a lot of it. You ever heard yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Ron Swanson say Ron, Ron Swanson, Swanson. <laughs> that's a very Ron, I don't care what it is, just put it in my eat hole. Uh, I love hot food. I love an air fryer. I'm an mm. air fryer queen. Where are my air fryer queens at? Um, yeah, Greg right? Barons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not quite... I'm more of like a utilitarian kind of cooker. Yeah. Like Greg Barron's is like, let me make 30 things that like. Let's see if they work. Yeah. And I'm more of a, like today I used it. I made um, uh, uh, asparagus oh, uh, nice. and had it with a little butter because like that's, that's nice. a nice little keto, all that yeah. has all the hits of macros. Um, but yeah, I love, I, I use my air fryer every day. Nice and crispy and like. All they're the a little, cri almost. they're sort of like a little bit soft on the ends mm, but the that. tips get really crispy so it's like a, you get both you get the both mm. yeah yeah love and that. then i'm really classy so we dip our asparagus in ranch at my house mm -hmm. hidden valley hey. ever heard of it is there cute <laughs> is ranch keto uh one gram of carb per serving okay yeah wow. okay. yeah yeah 
That's okay. the other thing. You can have things like sour cream and cheese, and oh, word. so it's like yeah. you, if for the most part, I try to eat like vegetables and uh, proteins, and you know, like ghee or, yeah. or butter or whatever. And then there's some days where it's like it's hard to do keto. And so I'm having an omelet with cheese and ham and right. bacon. and You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I sort of treat it that way. It's like I, I'm not going to eat bacon every day, but there's some days where I really want to be bad and bacon's on, the, on keto mm-hmm. and it definitely feels like it's a cheat because it does take seven minutes off your life every slice, I suppose. <laughs> That's what they tell you. That's what they say. I know. Um, I'm like, which seven minutes though? Can I pick? <laughs> hot tea. Hot tea? Oh, well... Honey, I'm gay, so I only serve my tea piping hot. And I don't know if both of you get that or not. You I probably do. do. Okay, yeah. RuPaul's been out long enough doing that. Uh, hot tea, yes. I am a hot tea you girl. Participate. I do. I have a kettle, an electric kettle at my house mm-hmm. that heats up water. Uh, Earl Grey, it would be, I'd start with an Earl Grey. I have a pretty good cinnamon tea that's pretty great. Um, and then occasionally I'll fuck with a chamomile. But usually it don't taste like nothing. It just tastes like weeds and shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love hot tea. Honey too. Some lap song, shushong. I used to work at when I, I worked at Caribou Coffee briefly. We had an array of teas, and I had to learn all about them. I love your jobs, Ian. My what? I love like, like you're like I worked at Caribou Coffee. Oh. And, mm. Ever heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hot person, Ian. Hot person. Hot person. Mm-hmm. Like sexually Whatever hot. Means sensually means hot. hot. Physically hot. Hot. Mm. Gosh, who who did I see recently? And I was like, oh. My, I can't. I'm trying to think. Um, no one with Ozempic face. No. Oof, God. <laughs> mm. No. Mm. No. Um, I'm trying to. Th- hot person. Give me an example of a hot person. Like a, like a Channing Tatum. No. Or yeah, gross. Ch- Channing Tatum is gross. a Sarah Jessica Parker guy. Like he's the male just Sarah Jessica Parker. Because based on what picture you see of him, it's hot, not know. hot. Yeah, Hillary Swank. He's like a Hillary Swank. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah. Really? So let me, yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, pa- I don't know. Maybe he does it for you. Pedro for you. Pascal. Oof. He's Chilean too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. He's so there's a genetic thing there where I, I see somebody that looks like that. I'm like, the, my, there's a part of me that's like, oh yeah, that's what. It is. Yeah, Pedro. We'll, we'll say Pedro. And he's yeah. he's having, he's having yeah, a and he's having a hot girl. He's having his. This is yeah. his era right now. He's in yeah. everything. Oh. Yeah, we'll say Pedro. I, I'll some go with of his that. Thirst content. I'll watch. Oh my God! Videos. Did you see where he says that I'm like your I'm your slutty little daddy or whatever? Oh, yeah. So we made a clip of that. Just that. And I was just laughing my ass off about that. Oh, no. I know who I was going to say. Uh, he's on The Daily Show. Uh, Ronnie Chang. Oh, yeah. Or, or, oh, I don't yeah, know. C- C-H-E-I-N-G. Yeah. I just saw him in... Did you see um, special? I haven't. Is it oh, good? He's so oh, funny. Awesome. He's so funny. Yeah, I've seen like clips, but I haven't seen the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just watched something with him and one of the guest hosts, and they were going off on each other. And oh, I was yeah. like, he is he's pretty cute. Hot. Pretty cute. Um, super hot. And then uh, hot sauce. Hot sauce. I, oh gosh, it depends on what I'm eating. Uh, which one I will okay. use. I have several. Crystal okay. hot sauce would be the hot sauce of the house sold. Okay. Um, occasionally Tabasco on eggs for some reason. And popcorn. I don't know why popcorn, I, it has to be Tabasco. Um, and then, uh, of course, Sriracha. I love that. Um, and then we have several many of the mexican or, oh, or latina yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, i have a couple from chile actually that are yeah, pretty good nice. those are more like ch- like smoky the, like they're hot but they always have that smoky yeah it's more of like whatever pairs with yeah it. yeah i respect that they have one called like it's it's a paste it's like a hot sauce you make hot you basically mm. make your own hot sauce with it it's called aji it's like a-i-j-i like um yeah, yeah it's really good it's great for like when you marinate stuff you can just Code it with that, and it'll be arts and crafts. Yeah, hell yeah, it's a DIY vibe. We love that. Yeah, Chile's not really known for their cuisine, at least internationally, but they do have some great stuff. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us. Yeah. Yeah. What a what a time we had. What a time. <laughs> now we gotta look this at that great. chili paste. Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah. that's yeah, delicious. I'm gonna need some of that. Right. Thank you for having me also. I'm, oh, I'm glad yeah. to be here. We'll cover this in a second. Yeah. We got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, we got we're good, we're good. Yeah. Okay, All right. Sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ian. Bye. Bye. Well, I mean, I feel like I learned a lot about Ian. 
I, I mean, didn't know a lot. Yeah, I didn't know yeah, that yeah, much no, about no, you. I mean, we run a show together, and you know, I learned some stuff today. Did you know about his mom being so cute? I didn't. No, 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 no. no. But I that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. I feel like She's his mom best. almost has like a similar accent to my mom, which is so cute. I feel like his mom could be a hot comic, honestly. I think she would. I think Maybe she the would. next. Wouldn't that be something that if I didn't tell amazing. him that I <laughs> that I went to Wouldn't Florida? Wouldn't he be in for a shock when he tuned in? To it would next? be like Caliente con <laughs> <laughs> Just Ian's mom is my new co-host be so forever. Fun. Sorry, Brandy. Uh, but it's just, <laughs> sorry. I mean, uh, Mrs. Bear really. Show business sen- is tough. Yeah, I mean, Senora Bear. You know, I mean, she is. <laughs> you got to keep Listen, up. It is what it is, though. I mean, I'm, I am proud of him, though, and all of the comics who have been doing the weight loss competition. By the time that this is out, they might be done with it, so we might mm-hmm. have a winner. And if we do have a winner, we'll put that on here. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. It's, 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 my money's on Ian. Your money's on Ian? Yeah, is that, are you contractually I, obligated to I spoke to him last. And... <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, whoever comes out on top, that's great. I'm going to be proud of whoever Well, whoever all of wins. them, because yeah. there's Voss Sanchez, Luke Bentley, uh, Benjamin Brown, there's uh, William Childress, yeah. Ian, and then, who's the other one? Oh, Mandel. Yeah, Mandel. Mandel. <laughs> My guy, Mandel. Yeah. So, here's the thing, is that they all have different strengths and different weaknesses. We're going to be rooting for all of them. I hope that they're all getting healthier no matter what, Absolutely. which is the point of the whole thing, which is great. Because, you know... Being a comic, you it, it can be an unhealthy environment. It's a lot of alcohol and fried foods. It's a lot cheese curds. Cheese curds are really uh, tasty, but they they're are. they're you know you can't uh, build a life off of them. So you also you like Ian worked at restaurants, right? I did, I did, I did. So like Ian, um, I worked at uh, Captain D's, a fish restaurant, which was uh, horrible. I was going to lie and say, fun, I don't have to do that. It was a terrible time. And uh, I I, I quit. Uh, Ian was talking about giving notice. I gave zero days notice. Okay. I quit after being accused of stealing from the register. (gasps) And um, I didn't, but I wish I had, you know? At that point? Yeah, you know? So, uh, and then my my second job, my my second job was at a pet supermarket, pet store. Okay. Um, which was like a mile, uh, like half a mile from the Captain D's. And one of my coworkers there told me later that the manager who, ac- who accused me was fired for stealing. So, you know, uh, mm-hmm. it's not, I mean, it's like, be, it's like, it's like accusing someone of is, cheating and is. then you're the and one then, that's right, stepping right. out. Okay. How many times have we seen that? Uh, so, uh, writes itself. I mean, how many times do you get accused, framed for a crime on your first job? You know? So. I mean, after I survived that, I mean, what is, you know. <laughs> what, is that? what did you do at the Pet Superstore? Cashier? I was a cashier. Yeah, I was a cashier. Because uh, I could see, because you're good, like, you're good with people. You're I like am. Friend, very, you're very personable. Dude. Very personable. Hello, uh, how's your day? Great. Yeah, yeah. These bones look something. And What's I worked your there for, uh, for a month. I worked there for a month. <laughs> you only for a month? Only for a month because uh, we had every Monday, uh, so three Mondays, we had something called Truck Day, which is the worst day. There was so much dog food, so many big oh. pounds of dog food, ba- pa- bags of dog food. And uh, and you're a strong guy. I am a strong guy. So uh, they're like, yeah. with so, a young yeah, yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I definitely have the, the, the youngest tendons and ligaments <laughs> in the store. So you can only imagine how much heavy lifting I was yeah. doing. <laughs> so then I, then, I, then I quit that job after a month, and then I went to go uh, work at uh, Champs. Champ Sports. I worked at a Champs, champs. once. You worked at a Champs. I worked at a Champs. You worked at a Champs. Do you still have the Wait. uniform by any chance? No. I still, oh, I still have mine. I still have. I still have my great cargo pants. Up. Okay. I do. Wait. So, uh, what department were you in the shoes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was. It was. But yeah. By the time I worked, it was all just. It was all shoes. It was all just. Well, because we had uh, at the, was it the University Mall in Tampa? Mm-hmm. Gross. Um, but it was. Um, there there was like the clothing section and the oh, the, okay. the shoes well yeah i mean we had it was it, we had everybody was pretty much responsible for for every, yeah i sold they ba- shoes they basically wouldn't we let had, me work in the shoes oh okay okay no no so now i understand why it you um and no, no no okay so i'm glad that you i kind of you jogged my memory about that while yeah. you asked that yeah so because you are a young lady you mm-hmm. you folded shirts i folded shirts you and fo- sold jerseys you folded shirts and you sold jerseys and yeah. and, and, and sneaker cleaner and all yeah. the stuff that I couldn't sell. And I, socks. I, yeah. I could sell you I, socks. Uh, so yeah, so uh, so you're getting a little inside in, inside look at the uh, the sneakers the sne- the mall yeah. sneaker store 
yeah. ecosystem. Yeah, if if if, if you're dark Lissandra, side, you you fold underbelly. shirts at the front of the store. Sometimes you fold shirts at the back of the store. Uh, that was and me. And then sometimes you check people out, and then you hawk uh, sneaker cleaner and sneaker brushes and uh, NBA people, jersey t-shirts. Because then you'd have people that do this just to look at the t-shirt yeah. and then just put it back down. Right, right, right. Oh, I just need to see the whole shirt. And Absolutely. I'm like, so, I just got unfolding that. So like I was saying to Ian, uh, when he said that he was a junior fudge sampler, I just find <laughs> it very funny. These these jobs as you work, you get very serious titles. Like when I worked at Champs, my title was store associate and that feels like a very serious title for somebody who is on twitter on the sales floor <laughs> it doesn't feel i don't feel worthy of store associate associate sounds like somebody with a briefcase i <laughs> i showed up to work with a nike drawstring bag with my cargo pants in it <laughs> good evening i'm the store associate yeah yeah associate is way too serious mm-hmm. for, for what i did um yeah they uh, i worked at uh I had a lot of retail jobs. Retail, yeah. Well, I had a lot of retail jobs, and they were called. Eventually, they called us brand ambassadors, uh, which is just a fun way to, to say that, like, yeah. we That's just want you to. Really yeah, we just want about. you to pay. Yeah. Like we we just want you to pay to wear the clothes that like we give you a discount, but all the money that we pay you is essentially going back uh, into the yeah, store because yeah, you yeah. have to wear the new clothes. Mm-hmm. But I worked at PacSun. Oh wow! Too so like That's I fun. you would get like forty percent off of the clothing that you would wear there, but then you'd have like I'd always just be spending my money back. Back with the and then. but packs and that that sounds like that sounds like one of the holy grails of like if you're gonna work at the mall packs. Sure. Like no, it does. I mean, because there was like a, a, you know as a champs person, I don't know if you guys had this too. Foot Locker was under the same umbrella. Mm-hmm. They would come in to make their their drops in the safe, mm-hmm. and it was just they would walk through their uh, their striped shirts. And Ooh. all their money that they made all day, and it was just that's just, like you were like, oh man, like if I can just put on the referee shirt just right. just one day, if I can. I wonder who paid better. If it was like did because Footlocker absolutely because I know that we got commission. It was com- it was well, we it was whatever some commission on it sales. was whatever you made. It was like it was you like if you hourly. made more commission, you got that. But if you didn't, then you got your hourly. Yeah wage did you ever work did you ever serve at a restaurant no never no no that was always i felt when i had to lie to get a job at a restaurant uh-huh. because they don't hire you at uh, restaurants if you don't have restaurant experience uh-huh. you can't get restaurant experience without getting it's, a, it's like a sad card yeah yeah I, it was easier for me to get my sad card than it was for yeah. me to get a job at a restaurant <laughs> it took me a lot longer to get that than it did my sad card but no, eventually I was like, oh, no, this makes so much sense. I yeah. liked it because, like, I could just essentially just, like, do a set for people. Like, have, like yeah. you have a captive audience and you charm you charm them. That's fun. And yeah. then you get them for, like, 30 minutes. You get a 30-minute set where you're just, like, They're taking stuck. breaks and giving them their food. As long as you're good on that, then you get a tip if they're not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> So there's that. Oh, well, the well, someone who is a delight uh, that is um, Ian's comic hottie, Marietta. Marietta's the best. Marietta. You can find all of her information below. And you can also listen to the episode that she co-hosted with me with Brad Sativa. And she is uh, an absolute delight. I mean, she's the best. She's one of the nicest people in comedy. She's she's so sweet. She's one of the first people I can remember being nice to me. Um and because she's that's so, who she is. I mean, and yeah, she's, she's just so, the same. Uh, the yeah. same. And she's super hilarious on top of, of, of everything else. And you know, like Ian said, her jokes wouldn't work for no. anybody else. Yeah. Unless you, unless I do. Right, right, right. If unless you do you the voice, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's just super dope that she has her, you know, her style, and and she's killing with it, and you know, that's what we all want. So. Have you ever done a Renaissance fair? I have not. No. We what should. We should all go this year. We should like have a group of people that don't do Renaissance. I've never gone to one. We should all go as like an investigative, yeah, journalism thing. It's not very hot, but I'm. I'd be down. Yeah, it, it, that's my thing. I'd I think down. it sounds like steamy and not yeah. like a good way. No, because I think it sounds like a lot of leather <laughs> and wool. Well, Ian said that he was wearing like Hot a fabrics. Yeah, like a like a loose like uh have you watched Princess Bride? I um, have, yeah, of course. So yeah, it's yeah. like like one of the like the like the shirts that they wore that was just like a loose like cotton gauze. Okay, so like the, the um, prince wore. Not so much the leather. Shrek's outfit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
like a linen shirt, <laughs> leather vest for, I guess, protection and adventure. <laughs> yeah. And then like a long john type of yeah. pant. Okay. Shrek's outfit. Shrek's outfit. I think Shrek's outfit is breathable. Absolutely. Because that I, guy gets hot. No, yeah. I'd I, 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 I classify it as breathable. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So would you go to the Renaissance Fair? If, if I could we, wear if that. We, if we got you a Shrek outfit? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I might switch up the colors because then... Mm-hmm. People are gonna know it's the Shrek outfit. <laughs> yeah, plus you gotta put your own spin on that. Yeah, so like whatever the player two version of Shrek do you, outfit is. Do you know, do you believe in like the the non player character uh, simulation theory? I do, I do to a certain extent. I was driving uh, today downtown, and that I made me really think about it because I was like, uh, I was just watching these people just do these benign tasks, yeah. and I was like. Not player characters yeah, right there. Yeah, they like, don't have. Mm, there's no story mode for them in no, this in my life. Oh, the lady, the lady next to me with two dogs yeah. and coming out her car. I was like, she's not going anywhere. She's yeah. just here in my no, story. Absolutely. <laughs> that's how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how it is. I don't have main character syndrome, but everybody else is a auxiliary character. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I, I don't feel like I, I don't think I carry myself like I'm a main character, but I do feel like there, there is some of that happening. Absolutely. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Why not? Why not? (laughs) Why not? So what are you looking forward to um, this, this spring? We're, we're coming up on the spring already. Coming up on the spring, Mm -hmm. um, you know, just continuing to do a lot of stuff. You know, you mentioned my two shows. We got a lot of great comments coming up on both of yeah, those so what's the what's exa- do people like reach out to you for the one because the 1 a.m show if yeah. you don't know this the 1 a.m show is really super exciting because people when they drop in when they like big stars when they come to town it's a secret it's the place so to be it's a yeah. place to be that's why it's fun to go it's weekly which is a lot for you it is. but it's it's great because it's weekly and you can come anytime and usually there's somebody like a big name that'll just like pop by. Exactly. So you don't want to miss it. You, you want to stay up. It. You want to be there. And you run this one with Tamar. Tamar Ruben, Ruben and Khalil White. Uh, love them both. Love them both. <laughs> They're both amazing comics and producers. And it's just an honor to host the show. Great because energy. It's an Atlanta staple. Yeah. And, you know, David Perdue and those guys, Mandel, uh, Anthony Driver, they passed it down to us. And uh, just to be chosen to do that, to take over something that... It's an honor. It is. It's 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 such an honor, and we love doing it. And we put on a great show, so come through. Come, come through all through. the time. Come through all the time. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here. Honestly, such a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Since since episode one, I've, I, I got to get in that room. There's warm tones on the wall. Mm-hmm. I want to be... Mm-hmm. This is where I want to be, and here I am. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much. Lissandra. Oh, this is a dream. Brandy, thank uh, you for letting me have your seat. <laughs> uh, keeping it warm. All right. And for you can find, tell the people where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, at Eric Trillman. That's Eric Tillman with an R in there. Uh, and then you can find me on Twitter at Eric Trillman underscore. Uh, a yeah. bot took Eric Trillman. So <laughs> this is where we are. So just Eric Trillman underscore. So just, yeah. 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 Uh, and I'll have all of his information and, and all the down shows. Below uh down in the show notes and my name is lissandra vasquez you can find me at lissandra uh two underscores vasquez you know the other ones were taken and you can find us on also all of our live shows hot comics live hot comics pod um just just go to our website all of our information's here please subscribe follow and like all of our comics go look at all the episodes that you may have missed in the past because we're starting to build up a pretty nice library of some amazing comedians. And if you um, the see a, the hottest, and if you see Ian anywhere, go go watch his shows. He's all over the, he's all over the place. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. And Ketosis. And he's in Ketosis. He's in Ketosis. So, I mean. He, I mean, we. What? It does, does it get hotter than that? No. <laughs> no. It, peeing on a strip. Yeah. He's, does it get hotter no. than that? No. All right. Thank you. Bye.